All right, and one other thing I want to <clears throat> start to get into too is uh, source. So I hear these guys all the time talking about source, right? And supposedly you get your power from source. I've I meditated, you know, uh, when I was doing meditations uh, a few months ago. Um, I was doing this meditation where I would, it was a breathing, you know, an awareness of my breathing and you're breathing in source and you can actually feel the energy, the white energy above you coming straight like into a, you know, source, like you're hooking up like a battery charger, right? Well, I just, I, you know, it didn't scare me or anything. I just... And I did it a few times. I did it several times, but it was just my brain started thinking and I was like, what is the source? Like, why isn't the source always there? Why isn't it always available? Why, what is this source? You know, so, um, I'm trying to put this source together because what I believe, I don't believe there's a source that's giving us all energy, right? Okay, so all of us are this, right? Every single one of us is this. I believe, I know, I think, I think, as of right now where I'm at in this process, that there isn't a source. We are source. We are source. And what is... What blows my mind to think about... Because, see, uh, people talk about source like it's a savior, or like it's the answer, or like it's where we came... It's horseshit. I think we are source. And I think as each one of us starts to heal, right? I explained it to my son like this. <clears throat> um, the Power Rangers. I don't know. They, he, you know, they, that used to be on TV, you know, back in the 90s. And the Power Rangers, they were each their own thing, but they would come together and make this ultra-powerful, you know, thing that can do un unbelievable everything it, it, you know so that's what I think we are and I think they've just you know divided us so caught down to the minute I mean as minutely as they can they've divided us and then they've surrounded us in these system with these systems of control right and these systems of slavery and what they've done is they put us on this wheel where we're, we just keep doing it to each other, you know? You know, I abused my kids. I was doing, I was passing the same fucking shit down. I put my kids in public school. My kids were fucking injected with highly toxic poisons. My kid, I stuck up, you know, for teachers, I'm sure, and, and other authorities over my kids. You know what I mean? The trauma, I mean, I this is me. This is what I did. I'm, the, I'm right here with y'all. But the thing is, is I... When I had my brain injury, it was like 14, 15 months ago now, my last one. One of the first fucking things that I guess, that, you know, came to me like a brick wall, like I had a face, like it was just there, like it, it was like, brum, 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 was, I don't even know what love is. And I don't even know where that came from. That got, boom, like, <laughs> I couldn't get rid of it. And I realized, instead of being self-righteous and going, you know, that's crazy. I, I was like, well, why am I thinking this? And then I started breaking it down. And it's common sense. Because if you are raising, if you are raised like this, right? If you were raised like this, if, if our, let's say our aura or our soul was this big when we were born, 
in life, this is all life, you know, fear, lack, worry, confusion, lies, fabrications, illusions, manipulations, constructs, status, materials, money, needing a savior, desire, toxins, poison, you know, all this shit, right, is your outside world. What ends up happening is we just shrink, right? We occupy less space because imagine this whole thing being an attention, your attention span that you're giving attention to. And the more that you're surrounded with this, the less attention you can give to this. And not only that, but you also end up giving, because of all the illusions, you have a perverted, you have a perverted definition of what that is. So all that stands in between you, all of that horse shit, that perverted view of this, plus all of this stands in between you, you know, and now the space, the true soul occupied space is so tiny, but it's still there and it's strong as fuck, guys. That's why it doesn't let you go. That's why that fucker holds on and gives you a chance to your dying breath. You have a chance to make this shit up, you know, um, but I don't believe there's a fucking source. I, I don't fucking think there's any goddamn source. You bet. You know. You better not be giving homage, praying to anything. If you don't know what the fuck you're praying to, you better be real fucking careful. I'll tell you that. Asking things for help. We are the most powerful fucking things in the universe. That's why everything is meant to control us. Because I don't know why, but they are fucking harnessing us. They are fucking got us enslaved and things only enslave things because they're fucking the most useful thing in the world. And that's us right there. And what we need to do, we need to all heal. We need to admit to our participation in this, in the smut show. And then our, our, our soul space will occupy, take over this 3D fucking meat suit. And we will be, and this is what will occupy. This is what we will be filled with. There will be no more of this. We will be filled with that because that's what we were filled with at the beginning before our parents put us on this fucking slavery system. 